What's going on, beautiful people? The Black Hokage here, aka TBH. And to be honest, I started playing Kenna Bridge of Spirits, and I got some thoughts on it. Before I get into that, friendly reminder that I am giving away an Xbox Series S plus three months of Game Pass for the month of January 2022. If you would like to get your hands on it, consider pausing this video and tapping the link in the description box below to enter the giveaway. Good luck to everybody who enters. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. Welcome to a new series that I'm calling So I Started Playing. The concept behind this is to create a stopgap between when I start playing a game and when I drop my review. When I review games, I like to take my time. I like to enjoy a game and I can, so I can I'm trying to properly form an opinion instead of rushing videos out of the game to capitalize on views. That's what I was trying to say because I'm a professional. Now, obviously this doesn't apply to Kenna because I'm already late with this review, but more so for future titles that I take on, think of this as a first impression series to hold you over until I'm done with the game. I think it'll be cool to see how my opinion on the game changes from when I first started a few hours in compared to when I finish it between managing several YouTube channels, my Twitch channel, all of my socials and my job at G, or my family and social life too. It can be a lot to keep up with. So hopefully these type of videos will help you guys. So today's topic of discussion is Kenna Bridge of Spirits, which is available right now on the PS5 and the PC. I'm currently playing the PS5 version. I've been eyeing Kenna ever since it was first announced during Sony's gaming event back in 2020. The liberal use of color and the Pixar-like character design really caught my eye, adding the fact that it looked like a platformer and you had me at hello. Well, it turns out this game is an action platformer drawing inspiration from all the classics. What the trailer doesn't tell you is this game is not for kids. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a code red. Yeah, that's right. We've got another knack on our hands. Well, sorta. This game is actually fun, unlike knack. What I mean by we've got another knack on our hands is this game is deceptively difficult. I feel bad for some of y'all kids. I mean, y'all parents gonna walk into the store and purchase this colorful, kid-friendly looking game thinking it's right up Timmy's alley, not knowing that this game is actually challenging. The challenge mainly derives from two gameplay design choices. The first of which is that most of the larger enemies will two-shot you, so you have to stay on your toes. The second Second reason is because this game features a parrying system where the window to parry is so small, so, 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 so small. I've seen several people in my Twitch chat say that they don't even bother to use that feature. They just dodge roll the entire game. I've had about four hours on this game and I will say I'd have to agree. It's really hard to parry in this game. I've only found it useful against large, more telegraphing enemies. And even still, I couldn't pull off that parry move more than once or twice per fight. That being said, I will admit that when I did pull it off, there was a major sense of satisfaction when I pulled off that parry, mainly because it was so hard to do. You get this dope slowdown animation that leaves the enemy open for heavy damage. It makes me think that it was designed this way on purpose. It's a high risk, high reward type system that only rewards the best players. Maybe this game could have implemented some type of training mode for players to practice, seeing as this game throws you to the wolves early on. There are a few other mechanics in this game, such as a bow and arrow, the rots and other stuff that you can unlock from the skill tree, but I wanna spend more time with this game before I comment on them. Reason being is it doesn't feel like this game is that deep from a mechanical standpoint. I could be wrong because I'm still early on in the game, but I do want to see how this plays out before I give a definite opinion on all that stuff. What I will say is that I am enjoying what I've played so far. I'm not blown away, but it does feel like an above average platformer. Everything here just works. I'm just waiting for something innovative or different to happen from the gameplay standpoint. And I'm waiting for the story to get a little bit more interesting. I'm curious to see how my thoughts will change once it's more fleshed out and I've played more of the game. But for now, this is all I got for you. More thoughts to come when my full review drops at a later date. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit the like button, share your thoughts on Kenna in the comment section below and if you've never heard of Kenna or you just had no interest in it but this video made you a little bit more interested and it made you want to pick it up use my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below this video is not sponsored by Amazon but if you are already planning on picking this up you might as well help a brother out by using my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video peace